messieurs, quart de finale, simple messieurs, Roland Garros 2018. Il a été vainqueur cette année de la DP250 de Budapest. Il est italien, Marco Cecchinato. Now I will play quarter the final against Nole. This is the best moment of my life because I feel every, every match good. Il a été vainqueur en 2016, ici tête de série numéro 20, le serbe Novak Djokovic I know um, of his game and um, I've practiced with him, I've watched him play and for sure he's playing the, the tennis of his life, he won his first title recently. So congratulations to him for a great tournament and he's not a, a seeded player, he's still in quarterfinal, he deserves respect and uh, he's got, he's got uh, nothing to lose in our next match. So. I'll, uh, I'll approach it very, very seriously. And there is the break for the Italian. Yeah, it's, it's all about habit and, and a little few worried looks there from uh, Marian Vider, Djokovic's coach. Well, that's a ripper. Finds the baseline too. Well, for me, this is the Italian strength, yeah, particularly down. on the run, that backhand down the line. Very difficult to pick where he's going to go. and. He's already hit a couple down there, so that's an early warning for Djokovic, the danger of coming in on that side. He's got a chance to take a set off Novak Djokovic here. Two set points. Has taken a set off Novak Djokovic. What a performance in that opening set from the Italian. Novak Djokovic, there you go, you can see it now, getting some treatment on the top of his neck. It's almost as if Maybe he's just slept badly. I remember watching a match with uh, Juan Martin Del Potro, who just jarred his neck in sleep, and he really struggled throughout the entirety of the encounter. It's, it's, I'm sure everyone's done it before. Oh, he can do no wrong. Just playing out of his head right now, Marco Cecchinato. Well, Djokovic can't believe looking for a mark there, but looks, looks like it caught the edge of the line. Well, the crowd here love to get behind whoever's trailing. Just astonishing tennis. That has to be one of the rallies of the tournament. Talk about coolness to finish it off from Marco Cecchinato. Well, tremendous hitting from both players, but what about this? This is absolute audacity and cheek right there. Novak at full stretch. What about that? Another drop shot winner.
Oh, my word. I mean, what we're watching out here is just mesmerising. How did Djokovic win that point? It's almost an exhibition shot, but he's done it in the quarter-final of a French Open. What about that for a reaction? That's the roar of a wounded animal right there. A wounded champion. Merci. Merci. Well, I can't say I've seen every set of tennis so far in this tournament, but for me, there can't have been any better than this one. This has been stunning from start to finish. And will it go Novak Djokovic's way? Set Merci. point Merci. for the 2016 champion. It's more electric tennis. It just gets better and better. Second set point for the world number 22. Taken away from him. Still stepping up to the plate time and time again. Again, called as personified. Wizard-like skills. Well, it's the forehand here. The forehand angle opens up the court. And look at that. No Djokovic and then anticipate what he's going to do here. And of course, it's a drop shot once again. Djokovic, you had three set points earlier on, remember. Now... It's checking Arto with two of his own. It's checking Arto set. A simply sensational set of tennis from the Italian. And the 2016 champion is on the ropes. His two sets to love down. in the third set and they've just both lost their way a little bit. And it's easy pickings for Novak Djokovic. Hugely helped by the net call. Well, he's come from two sets to love down four times before in his career, Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic strikes back, as all great champions do. Takes the third set, 6-1, and it's game on again on court Suzanne Longlin. I mean, obviously, they've got to go by the letter of the law here. I'm trying to see if we can pick anything up. So, point penalty. Code violation. 
And I, I think the uh, the supervisor given that Wayne McEwen because he deemed that Chakinato was not trying in that last game. That's my interpretation of that. I heard shoes mentioned. No idea what that's to do with. As ever, the French crowd have their thoughts on the proceedings. He's found the light. High risk shot to go for. This won't help his mood if it is now called out. And it is called out, and it is out. Cecchinato continues to argue. He's just got to be a little careful here. It's good umpiring. Cecchinato fitting. Not done by here. What's Djokovic going to do? <laughs> they say they're good friends. Well, umpire's decision is final. And that was pretty good umpire because he's straight off the chair to uh, inspect the mark. Well, let's not forget, Djokovic has had a couple of those against him, which he doesn't know about because he can't see the Hawkeye. Well, hands up who saw that coming. Cecchinato breaks back. And we go on in set four. Djokovic man, thank you, Zakat. just have to appreciate what we're witnessing such a big moment and once again the former world number one able to step up yes yeah, coolly done once again from Djokovic just controlling the point go down in French Open history incredible and after three hours and 13 minutes of absorbing tennis it is the Italian with a match point Djokovic coming out with just full stretch volley. Just thought it was all too much. 
how he made that with such control at full stretch. Incredible. Everybody is on their feet here. And rightly so. The show that these two have put on. As I say, I'm running out of superlatives. I was running out of superlatives in the second set, let alone now. Merci, mesdames et messieurs. S'il vous plaît, la partie reprend. Merci. Merci. S'il vous plaît, c'est bon. Never mind that reflex volley, he guessed the right way. What about that for control? Merci, s'il vous plaît, mesdames et messieurs, s'il vous plaît. Now it's a set point for Djokovic. I think it's safe to say Novak Djokovic is back. His level of tennis today throughout the majority of the match has been stunning, as has his character. Giannato is two points away again. Again, just drawing what he does best. Perfect control there when he needed it most. Look at the defense from Djokovic, how far back he is behind the baseline here. Just waiting for the slightly short ball to take advantage. Merci. And all of a sudden, it's a set Merci point for him on serve this time. Continue to paint the most magnificent of pictures. What a way to save another set point. Well, just when you think it's not going to get better, it does. Unbelievable bravery, decision making from the Italian once again, facing adversity and coming up with the answer. with a ball into the corner. It's the only way to win a point right now. Will it be third time lucky for the serve? Well, Djokovic just showing once again. He doesn't even know when he's beaten. He just keeps coming back more and more.
Well, you, you can understand. You can understand both Novak Djokovic and you can understand the crowd as well. I mean, everyone cannot sit still with what we're witnessing here. Cechinato has forgotten that you need to change ends. I mean, it's all happening. But that surely was Djokovic's chance. Well, just so uncharacteristic in those kind of situations that we've seen so often in the past that it would just convert a relatively simple forehand. and had to just have taken, momentarily taken his eye off the ball because it actually came off the frame. He shanked that into the stand. Got to give Marco Cecchinato credit, though, for getting that ball back in play. It was a, an astonishing return. High, high emotion for everyone here on Suzanne Longland. And with all the drama, the 3 hours and 22 minutes of lung-busting tennis, the Italian with such clarity of thought to go for the forehand in behind. And he gives himself a second match point. Merci. Merci. I can't remember the last time I've seen a clay court duel like this that is just bringing such a ray of high standard from both players. And once again, Djokovic answers the question on the arguably the biggest point of the match once again. Just how many big points of the match can there be? Forehand again. And this time, the match point will be on Cecchinato's serve. Well, I'd love to have a heart rate monitor on the Italian right now. This is match point number three for the Italian. For a place in the semi final. It's tough to. <laughs> To, 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 to say the emotion in the tiebreak. I, I was very nervous because so many shine, chance, so many match point and on the third, I think I, I was the, the ball for winner and I, I put the ball and so and so. moment of my life. Before this tournament, he had never won a Grand Slam match. Now he has knocked a 12-time Grand Slam champion out of the French Open to reach the semi-finals with the most astonishing performance 
you are likely to ever witness. A special, special match comes to an end with a very worthy winner. Well, I'm not surprised he's in tears. That's tears of emotion, elation. Everything that he's done is worked towards to this kind of moment in his career. Probably still can't believe it. What a way to put himself through to the semi-final. And just a word on Novak Djokovic. He will have won a lot of fans and he is back. There's no doubt about that. Does this match maybe also summarize, you know, the way of coming back, how difficult it is to actually come back on the level you want? So many ups and downs. Well, it is difficult. Many things in life are difficult. Novak, you're obviously upset, but are you able to articulate? I'm not. I'm sorry, I'm not. Uh, Novak is a very good person and it's, a, it's unbelievable for me. Novak changed the, the court and he told me, congrats, man, and it's unbelievable for you and good luck is a, is a dream for me. Novak, when do you think you'll first play in the grass? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to play in grass. Well, sorry, at all. I don't know if I'm going to play in grass. You said you weren't going to play grass. You didn't know if you were going to play grass. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I really don't know. I just came from the court. I, I don't know. Sorry, guys. I cannot give you that answer. I don't know. I cannot give you any answer. It's amazing tennis today. I was to set up against Novak. In the third, I was a little bit tired. Also in the fourth, I was to break down. And I start to play very well. And on the tiebreak, is uh, I played very, very well tiebreak. So many chance, match point, and very good points. And in the end, I won the match. is uh, is amazing for me.